Every five years, over 120 Skogmo family members from all over the United States gather together in Minnesota to reconnect and celebrate their ancestors' voyage to America. The Skogmo family reunion remembers the long journey and tough life of Anton Thomas Skogmo, wife Johanna Skogmo, and their children, who on May 7, 1879, were the first Skogmo descendants to leave their hometown in Norway and sail to Minneapolis, Minnesota. Anton eventually moves his family to Elbow Lake, Minnesota, where they built the Skogmo General Store. My extended family continues to reside in this area through the use of our four cabins, where I frequently went during the summer of my younger years. The legacy of Anton and Johanna's hard life as the first Skogmo family members in America lives on today through our remembrance of them at our Skogmo family reunions. Starting in 1946, six years after the death of Johanna Skogmo, her children began the first Skogmo reunion. As World War II was coming to an end and many men were returning home, the first reunion brought everyone together and helped welcome home their loved ones. What started as a 10-year reunion quickly turned to be every five years because people grew too much over time and the members could not wait another 10 years to be reconnected with their relatives and enjoy the festivities the reunions bring. The Skogmo family reunion was a way to stay in touch with distant relatives and celebrate their Norwegian heritage. This weekend-long event takes place during the summer in a hotel in Minnesota. The reunion begins on Friday, where everyone displays past memorabilia to recognize the deceased and relive memories of previous reunions. The second day of the reunion starts off with a series of events, from kids' games to golfing, and always includes laughs and more memories. That Saturday night, a program is held to honor those who have passed since the last reunion, as well as acknowledge the farthest travelers, the elders, and the youngest, whom in 1996 I was by being only one month old. We then read the story of our ancestors coming to America and admire the Norwegian decorations of flags and food. At the end of the night, the younger generations sing Norwegian songs, traditional for every reunion, and we dance the night away. Everyone receives the family tree and continues to update the ever-growing Skogmo genealogy. Colored t-shirts are also given out to represent each branch of the family that we take a photo in at the picnic on Sunday in the midst of more fun games. Not much has changed as we are coming up on our 13th family reunion, 70 years after the first gathering was held. Our family reunions remind me that I am a part of something bigger a long line of family history. Every five years, I enjoy coming together to reconnect with distant relatives and recognize my Norwegian heritage. Without my family reunions, I would not have a sense of all the people who have come before me, nor would I realize my duty of upholding my Norwegian traditions. This summer will be my fourth family reunion and I am excited to reunite with others who are also proud to be Skogmo family descendants.